Hi Joy Riders, welcome to my Big Fat Nomad Van Life. I'm starting a new series called Clips and Coffee. Clips or coffee and clips, as in video clips. What I want to do is a budget breakdown for my epic road trip. I don't know if you can see this paperwork too good. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you the amount that it cost me to travel from Ohio to first Phoenix and now I'm in Las Vegas. A lot of nomads or people who are considering an alternative lifestyle like living in a van or just living on the road, they can they get concerned about gas prices. Gas prices can be really high to okay. And I did find coming out here, the gas prices were like about, the average was about three fifty. I would say that was the average price of gas. And there were some places that it was higher. But I do want to say to nomads, or if you're considering this alternative lifestyle, or even taking a long road trip, when you get someplace, you can sit still. So for instance, when I was on BLM land, I was in Arizona maybe a week. And basically, I was doing not a lot of moving. Wherever I would get to a, 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 I would get to a place and I would not move very often. I would move maybe every two days. So I would just sit there and do everything I needed to do. But as far as the gas for the trip that I just took, when I left out of Ohio, I already had gas in my car, but I ended up putting $60. I already have gas in my car. I can't remember. Next, I got to Illinois and I had to put another 60 in the car. Then I got to Little Rock, Arkansas and I put $18 in the car. I got to Palestine, Arkansas and I don't know if you all can see. I put $49.50 in the car. When we went to the travel, the Cherokee Travel Center, I got $30 worth of gas. We went to a store near Walmart where I filmed the tiny houses. You can go look at that video. I put $31 in. Here, I don't have the location, but I put $27. We were topping off in many of these locations. So if I would get a half, I think to fill up my van, it's like $60. So we were topping off. So we, and I here, here I got $30 another $20 then I got $25.18 I have terrible handwriting so excuse it but all total I paid it so from Ohio to Arizona I paid a total of $381 now I'm in Las Vegas and it has been I had to pay from the gay I had to put gas in my car from my van from coming from Las, I mean, coming from Arizona to Las Vegas. Since I've been in Las Vegas, as I shared in the last video, I have been camped at the Circus Circus Casino. I have been camped at the Circus Circus Casino. And I just did a walking tour, kind of like of the parking lot. And I want to show y'all that it's perfectly safe. Now I've been here, maybe I've been here since I got to Las Vegas. And I've just, because I don't have an alarm clock and I don't have a calendar. I have a calendar, but I don't look at it as far as my daily days go. Doesn't make sense. So I don't know, but since I've been here, maybe it's been a week, maybe it's been four days. I've lost track when I got here. Um, I have not had to put any gas in my vehicle because I've been camped at the Circus Circus parking lot. It is where all this is a worn down hotel. It is a very safe. I didn't have any problems any night. Most hotels when you get off the popular tourist strip, they welcome RV people and van people because they so they welcome that. So you can stay there. They'll they'll have a sign that clearly states you can stay there 72 hours or 48 hours. This casino, when I Googled this casino, it said they did provide RV parking. I never found out where that was. When I got to this parking lot, I felt that based on me seeing the amount of kids going into those 
it's not just a casino it's a hotel there's an amusement park there's a circus act so based on me seeing families and kids parking in this parking lot coming back from circus at acts at nine o'clock at night sometimes even later than that on the weekend i felt perfectly safe i bought a bus pass <clears throat> I bought a bus pass um, that was $8, and for $8, you could ride the bus up and down the strip anywhere you wanted to go for 24 hours. And so yesterday, I went to see a show, and I I had a buffet, y'all, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put the buffet clip in here. We're not past, uh, we, we still need to stay away from buffets, let me just say that. I got extremely sick. My, I know this anyway. I just can't. That's why I usually stick to what I eat. My cucumbers, tomatoes, tuna on top. But anyway, I had a buffet. And while the buffet was very delicious, um, I did get sick. What else? I went to see a very beautiful show. Circus. I get it. Every time I get ready to see it, was called Mysteer. And um, I've just been doing, like, if you want to say touristy things. And as far as my budget goes for being here at the casino, so I haven't moved for four days, so I haven't had any gas expense. As far as my budget goes, as far as food, I um, the first day I did buy something out of Circus Circus. I wouldn't recommend that. Go look at that video. Um, it was ten dollars. Um, the second day, I uh, I think I got some wings. Well, anyway, I've just been kind of buying stuff. So how I eat is I generally eat one meal a day, and then I the rest of the day I graze um, because my blood sugar drops and everything. I graze, so I already had snacks in the van to graze off of, and then I would spend maybe between ten and twenty dollars on something hot, a hot meal. Okay, so that's been my budget. I am going to do, y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a budget breakdown just for me living in a van. Anyway, the way my budget, the way my nomadic lifestyle is set up, I like to be places for like, you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of, you know, weeks until I get tired. I, I really do. I don't like to just, first of all, traffic here. Um, that's why I'm waiting to the traffic dies down so that I can leave because I'm leaving Circus Circus today. I'll be back along this strip area when my sons get in, well not my sons, when my son and his friend get in town. But let me know if y'all want me to do a budget breakdown and I'll be happy to do that as far as what my expenses are. Generally, when I'm on the road, houseless and zip codeless, living full time in my van, I find places that I can park for a week. So what I'll do is there may be a pilot, okay? There is a pilot. And usually right next to the pilot is a Love's. It's crazy. They're in co their competition. Then it may be a travel center. So I'll go from the pilot to the Love's to the travel center, to a hotel so I stay in that general area for like a week I explore the area get to know the area find the coffee shop find the library and that's how I do because I have a minivan I'm able to park even places that probably if it was a, if I had a clear camper van that other people couldn't camp but anyway I'm gonna show y'all some clips of my buffet food and just some other stuff um, that I did in Las Vegas okay let's get started I took a selfie of myself in Cirque de Soleil Mystere, which was an incredible show. Incredible. I did not have to pay to see this show, but I am going to pay to see Cirque de Soleil Mad Apple because I heard it's hip hop. I heard it's off the charts. So I'm looking forward to doing that. They didn't allow pictures or filming. I had to take a little picture though. They had babies. 
When you got in there, they had baby carriages on stage and they had these baby cryings. I never got that. There was a mother who came out, but some of the acrobats and the stunts, mind-blowing. I didn't understand if there was a storyline, but it did hit every senses. And because I am an introvert, sometimes I have sensory overload. And this show was not sensory overload at all. Here I am, it's early morning, it's Monday, it's a Monday, so the parking lot is pretty much empty because people have come, come, come and went. I'm still here, I've been here, like I said, a week in this parking lot camped, and uh, I haven't had any problems. Ironically, when I went up the, up the street, catch the, ba- the bus pass at some of the more expensive hotels like Luxor and Venetian and um, I guess if you want to say Treasure Island and MGM and even more expensive hotels up there I saw a lot of not a lot but I saw homeless people I saw trash so I think in these areas these working class areas they have pushed all the nefarious or the bad stuff out and so the people who are up in the other areas they're not I don't think they're bad people because they're homeless they certainly didn't do anything to me but I did see a, a, a number of people that clearly had some mental health issues and also that were homeless clearly homeless but again they were up by the higher end hotels and they didn't cause me any problems at all so this is me just walking giving a tour showing you where I stay usually this parking lot is full of cars you can you can blend in just park in a parking space and you blend right on in so because i did not have to pay accommodations for four days to a week i was able to play a couple of machines i was able to eat a couple of meals and i was able to just sit here like i am doing now and just get a little work done and again no problem at all it is important to do like my friends and read the reviews but also you can come and you can do just do a check I saw kids and parents and they brought their goodies and I felt perfectly safe so my contribution to staying here at no cost I was able to go up on the um there's dusty I still need to clean dusty This is how the famous Circus Circus Clown sign looks at night. So here's where I was camped at Circus Circus. I think coming up, I'm going to show a brief clip of me walking through the casino. I think so. There is no one way to do van life. I have a person that I know. She lives in a box truck that she converted to her home. She lives on a large piece of property. I think it's somebody she know. She just rents a space on that property. And every now and then she might travel. But for the most part, she is just, as the old folks say, she sat right there. She's sitting right there, right where she's at. Then there are people who go down to BOM land, Bureau of Land Management, and they live there for free off the grid and you can do it that way then you kind of have me i'm right now feeling houseless and zip coatless i live nowhere and i'm enjoying being on the road but i do like to stay places maybe a couple of weeks just to get a feel for the area and get some places where i can park but i am enjoying exploring every time i do a clip y'all it get lost but take the joy route all right take the joy route which simply means live your best life There are people who will judge your lifestyle. No matter if you lived in a million dollar mansion, there are people who are so miserable, who are broken in a million little pieces that they will judge your lifestyle or try to tell you how to live differently or they will judge you from YouTube or judge you in any kind of way. And what you have to do is you have to always stay on your joy route. And it's a beautiful thing. Thank you to the new subscribers and the A1, day one subscribers. Thank you for the likes and comments which tickle youtube's algorithm and help me get the message of living your best life to more people thank you and whatever you do and however you do it don't let nobody steal your joy if they do snatch it back and you keep taking the joy route okay talk to you soon